Canberra. The Education Minister, Peter Collier, has accused the teachers' union of scaremongering over claims up to $300 million will be cut from the sector in next week's state budget. Concern is starting to spread, with another union warning of widespread job losses. Peter Collier says the union's bleatings are becoming a source of frustration. You do not reveal what's in the budget prior to the budget. This is scaremongering on the part of the union. The teachers' union has warned up to $300 million will be cut from the education budget over the next four years as part of the government's workforce renewal policy. All up, the government wants to save $1.3 billion by forcing agencies to hire cheaper workers when staff retire or resign. But unions say the policy isn't practical and departments will have to make cuts elsewhere. Look, I'm not going to comment on anything with regard to the Workforce Renewal Program prior to the budget. The Education Department won't be the only one hit by the Workforce Renewal Policy. It's being applied virtually across the board and there are fears for some agencies that could translate into a cut of up to 10%. The Public Sector Union is predicting job losses in the thousands. What we're hearing is that there will be significant cuts to jobs in the upcoming budget, that the policy is not one of renewal but one of reduction. The Nursing Federation wanted its members exempt from the policy but its request has been refused. It's just simply a dangerous uh, policy developed by bean counters who have no idea what the impact would be uh, in regard to patient care. The government says belt tightening is happening across the board, confirming ministerial officers will have to hire cheaper replacement staff too. Rebecca Carmody, ABC News.